Hi friends, there was a question posted, how we will add a value of a combo box, here is a combo box and a te text entry, so I am just entering 5 and some displayed here, I can change this value to let's put it, make it 50 and again submit whatever with the value is, these two values will be added and displayed on a label, this is a label, we will learn how to do this. This is the layout we'll just understand the layout but the entire source code is available for you to download and will not uh, will work on the how to develop the code to add up the two values but here the layout you can easily hope you can understand but if you have any doubt suggestion or any issue on this leave it in the comment section will respond so here you can see this is a kinter i am importing ttk here because i have to use combo box now combo box the advantage is i can select an option or i can have my own option also data also so here it's a integer variable i have taking and that integer variable i am connecting to a combo box here you can see I have the combo box declared it and the text variable I have connected to cell 1. Cell 1 is the here it is it's an int variable so integer variable it will take the values uh, integers it will take and I have setting the value to 0 it's a default value variable suppose you want some other value fine put it as any other value this data is a list this is the options of the combo box you here you can see the values equal to data means uh, the choice given to the user is 5 3 15 22 these are the choice will be given user can select it or user can enter its own data that is the advantage of a combo box now coming back below this you can see we have placed it at a, in a grid and here is a text entry because the question was asked was to how to use a text wizard but actually I feel it is a better to use a entry because text is for multi-line inputs but here we are number means it's a okay it's up to you you can just change it by using a entry also uh, so here it is a text and that also we have placed it here and we will know how we will read the text wizard data and then add up okay we are here we are giving some initial value to the test wizard because we want it zero should be there so initial value you given you want it should open up with 10 20 30 whatever the initial value you can place it here now here is the label so in this label will when the sum is uh, found out means when you will sum up the things you will display the output here the total value of this whatever combo box and the text wizard value when you sum it up will display in this label and there is a button below this button is will trigger the our function the callback function which will add these two values where just place the box in, the functionality is not there you can just see here at the line number 21 we have commented we have used a trace method say this trace method also will trigger that function which will add up these values because that way we can add up without clicking the button also we'll disable it and see that now let's see how this blank window looks so here it is there is no functionality you can select whatever values whatever are there you can enter some um, data here and sum but there is no functionality because we have not coded that the total value will be displayed now we'll uh, write the code inside the function let's start by adding the click event to the our button so what it will do when the uh, button is clicked so i'll just say sorry command equal to uh, lambda mbda lambda now what it will do is it will trigger a function my upd this function i have not yet written so i'll to, i had to write that one so once i click this button this particular function will be called so that's one and you can just see the trace method also calls that so let's just go up and write the our function here so what we will say define now my update now let's receive some arguments because the trace method is there so we'll just put the arg anything any parameter is comes we'll store that one now inside this what you will do we'll declare a variable total this is equal to cell one dot get what is cell one get this is the value what the combo box says you have selected say uh, you see this here this is cell 1 here this is a text variable connected to this combo box we have given out of this choice or the user has entered some data that we are capturing it here and note that we have declared it as a int variable so it, it will not accept anything characters or anything so it will directly we are taking it as a int 
otherwise suppose you it is a string variable then you have to convert it to integer here it is not required because it's we have used it directly a int variable or a integer now next thing is what the user has entered in the text box so two things we have to add up so second part of it now i am saying t1 this is my text wizard now how to read it i have to use the get method and starting from 1.0 means the first first row first character till i will go up to end the last whatever it is entered the user the entire thing i am carrying but this will be i will be getting it as a string so i if i'll add up to this there will be error so for that purpose what i will do i will say st sorry reverse i have to do i have to use int int means convert this to a integer that's all so now my total value is ready now this total i will display it in our label so the label we have already l1 it is uh, it is there here it is the l1 the total or by default it reads total now this will just display the value so for that purpose let's just config it the config option for any wizard we can change any of its parameter options whatever i will so l1 that is my label dot config sorry config here it is sorry sorry it is config you can use configure also so it is config now i am saying text equal to total that's all now what happens is now the, whatever the total value is that will be reflected on on my uh, label now i am just saving this and running let's see how this works i have here three let me select three and here i will make it 20 now i will click sum it's 23 now let me just select 15 on its own it's not adding because i have disabled the trace method now 15 plus 20 is now let's it's showing 35 now let's do slightly change it i am just closing this coming back what's this stress method i am enabling this what happens now whenever this combo box value changes this will call this my update because this w means whenever i am changing the value so whenever this value changes so now what happens the extra feature you if it is required you can use it otherwise not <clears throat> let me just put 10 here i have put 10 now i am selecting 15 here see what happened i have not clicked the sum button but it has given me 25 because it has added now let me just change it to 5 it has all auto because of the trace method it triggers that function whenever the value of this combo box changes it triggers that so i am directly i get the update that's all friends this is the entire source code you can download it and if you have any doubt suggestion or question on this you use the comment section below to post it we'll work on it this was a question asked uh, uh, yesterday so uh, to explain that we have created this and i request you please press the bell icon and subscribe to our channel so you'll get new new uh, whenever we add new tutorials you will get the notification and please share this with your friends and thank you for watching